This project is sponsored by PCBWay. They have all the services you need to create your project at the best price, whether it's a school project or complex professional project. On PCB Way you can share your experiences or get inspiration for your next project. They also provide completed surface mount SMT PCB assembly service at the best price and ISO 9001 quality control. Uh, visit www.pcbway.com for more services. Hello, there are many Arduino clock projects with temperature and humidity readings where the results are usually displayed on some kind of display. This time I will show you how to make such a device where instead of a display, an addressable WS2812B pixel ring with 12 LEDs is used. This is another in my series of unusual clocks which you can see in the given playlist. The readings of the values is conceived in a very intuitive way with the help of var various color combinations. Even the clock has a resolution of 1 second on only 12 LEDs. Out of this the code is taken from the Chris Asi GitHub site and is called Tax Clock, but I couldn't, couldn't find a video presentation so I decided, decided to make the device myself and check its functionality. Another curiosity is the way to enter command with just one button with the help of single click, double click and a long click. Out of this the device is extremely simple to build and contains only a few components. Arduino Nano MCU board, next addressable WS2812B pixel ring with 12 LEDs, uh, DS3231 real time clock module, DHT11 temperature plus humidity sensor, a button, one resistor, and buzzer. The buzzer signals the push of the button. And now let's see how the device works in real conditions. Immediately after switching on, after testing the diode ring, the clock starts in the current time settings position. With short clicks on the button, we set the hour, which is the red or pink LED. AM or PM. Uh, when we set the hours, we wait for a certain time and now the blue LED uh, lit, uh, that indicates the minutes. We adjust the minutes in the same way. And after a few seconds, the, car, uh, the correct time appears. We read the exact time in the following way. The red LED indicates the hour, specifically it is 1 o'clock. Uh, the blue LED shows the minutes, specifically uh, 45 minutes. And both green LEDs indicate the seconds. As you can see, with each passing second, the intensity of the green LED gradually increases and every 5 seconds the next green LED is turned on. Now with a double click the following state appears on the display and actually represents uh, the current humidity measured by DHT11 sensor. Uh, currently uh, it is 66 and the red LED represents the tens and the blue LEDs the units. Uh, in our case, ten and red LEDs are in the same dot, so the color of this dot is pink. Uh, with next double click, it displayed the temperature, also measured the DHT11 sensor. And currently it is 21 degrees Celsius. Analogous to the previous case, the red LED represents the first digit, two, and the blue LED the second digit.
21 degrees. Also the device even has the ability to adjust the intensity of the LEDs. This menu is entered with the next double click. And the desired intensity is adjusted with the short clicks on the desired value. Then that value is remembered with uh, another double click. Now the device is returned to the first menu for settings the correct time and it was previously and if it was previously set at the beginning now we just single click to hours and minutes show the previously set time. One o'clock and forty seven minutes and twenty seconds. And finally, a short conclusion. Although this is a very simple Arduino project, it contains more different options as well as a very intuitive way to display a lot of information on the display consisting of only twelve LEDs. For the sake of a better visual impression, I made suitable case for the device from PVC boards with a thickness of 3 and 5 millimeters and then covered it with colored silt adhesive wallpaper.